I'm Giannis Patelis, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to use a Weston sous vide immersion circulator. I'm gonna sous vide a whitetail triangle roast. Sous vide actually means under vacuum. You put the meat into a plastic bag, you take the air out of it, immerse it into the water. By immersing it in water that's set at a certain temperature, you're basically slowly cooking that meat to that desired temperature. It'll never go over that temperature. Here, we're just gonna bring up that temperature. Let's say medium rare, somewhere between 125 and 130. You can keep it there for hours. It gives you a little bit of leeway for time. You can start it at like lunch, and then when you get home for dinner, you can just pull it out of the bag, finish it, and go. This is the whole sous vide device, or as Weston calls it, the sous vide immersion circulator. Why they call it the immersion circulator is because it's immersed in the water and it's actually circulating the water and that helps it keep it at that set temperature that you're trying to cook your uh, protein to. You simply attach it to the edge of the pot, screw it down. Make sure you have enough water in there. Make sure you're above the minimum line, below the max. Hit your power button. It'll give you the temperature that the water is currently at. To adjust it, you simply hit the temperature button and then click up or down to the desired temperature. It starts at 125. I'm going to go for 130. Once you've chosen your temperature, you simply hit the flashing power button or the on off button. That'll start the circulator and your water will be getting ready to go. For simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna put just the meat into the bag. Then we're gonna salt and pepper it later. If you want, you can season the meat now. You can put garlic, onions, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, fresh herbs, marinades. There's that. So I've got my vacuum sealed meat. It's ready to go into the water for this sort of, this size of a chunk of meat. Um, it says one to four hours. At one hour, it's gonna be up to temp and ready to go. It'll still be up to temp and ready to go at four. Somewhere after four hours, it's gonna start to break down the meat a little bit too much. So there is an end to the window that you need to look out for. Meat's in the water. My, uh, I'm not gonna set a timer, I'm just gonna come back in approximately an hour, knowing that that thing should be at 130 degrees. We'll pull it out and I'll show you what I'm gonna do from there. All right, so it's been an hour. I'm back at my hot pot of water, my Weston Immersion water circulator, and I'm pull out my meat, take it out of the bag to sear it, to finish it. We're gonna pat it dry a little bit. You can just let it um, air dry a little bit as well, let it rest, but we're just gonna pat it dry. And there's a couple of different ways you can finish it. You can go hot grill, hot pan, and you can also go, go torch. If you don't take care of the moisture that's on the meat that's in that bag before you go to sear it, you're gonna end up doing more steaming than searing. Now the searing process isn't to cook the inside of the meat any farther. It's already been brought up to 130 degrees. The searing the outside, whether it's by pan or grill or torch, is just to uh, caramelize it a little bit and give it that uh, charred meat flavor that we all love so much. So now I'm just gonna cut it across the grain, top it off with some salt and pepper, and enjoy. Like I said, you could do a lot more with it, adding more herbs and different kinds of spices in the beginning if you want, but this just lets you taste the meat for what it is and shows off what the uh, sous vide cooker can do. Ooh, smells good, good smell. Good taste too, take another one.